this is covered. I should open everything now, but that's too much like right. Is the packaging, if I take this off, oh, well, let me leave that on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> nope. Hello everyone, that was okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McHale. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today is a very, very exciting video. I have been slowly but surely accumulating, like Thanos, <laughs> all the viral Arabian perfumes that have been hitting my timeline on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. I have been slowly but surely accumulating them um, so that I can talk about them and review them for you all. I have several to get through, so... Take your time, get some water, get some wine, whatever your pleasure, because we got a lot to talk about. Before I get into that, you don't have to thank my amazing, beautiful, incredible subscribers. Y'all have been holding it down. So incredible. Engaging with the content, liking, sharing, commenting, watching the ads. I mean, it, it don't get it don't get no better than you. It don't get no better than you. Um, so I just have to always show y'all love and support because y'all always show me love and support. Um, and if I have any other any other announcements, I'll just put them in here. Without further ado, let's smell some Arabian perfumes. Some of these are have just recently come out. Some of these have been out for a while and I've been always kind of wanting to smell them. So it's just a hodgepodge of a lot of things. The first one we're going to smell is, I think this is Meyer, My Mayar by Latafa. Um, I started to take the packaging off, but I think part of the decor is on the bottle. So I said, let me at least let y'all see that. And as I am filming this, my tester trips have not made it here yet, so we just gonna have to, we're gonna do it how we gonna do it. Uh, let's see how, ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, when it comes to the to the decor and to the, when it comes to details, y'all not seeing the Arabian girls. They got that on lock. Okay, so how do I want to smell this? Okay, so that's how you get that off. I've been smelling a lot of stuff today, so I don't want to um, put something on my hand. So we're just going to have to... Alright, so we got a little piece of paper. Let's give a little... Okay. Okay, sprays. Nothing to write home about. No Ooh, something's already hit me. Okay, the nose for this are lychee, raspberry, and violet leaf in the top. The middle is peony, white rose, jasmine. The base is vanilla and musk. I can tell right now I like this. What has hit me, I like this. Woo! <laughs> that! Why y'all didn't tell me about this perfume sooner? Ooh! That is so good. Okay. If you like Angel Nova, you would like this. It's very similar to Angel Nova at like that top. What's at the top of Angel Nova? The thing is, it's not as tart as Angel Nova can get at with that opening. Oh my God, that is so good. That is so beautiful. Why y'all didn't tell me about it sooner? Oh, if you don't like raspberry perfumes, you're not gonna like this. If you don't like lychee, you're not gonna like this. What's another fragrance I can say this resembles? Um, The only thing that comes to mind is Angel Nova. That is the closest thing I can think of. I'm not saying it's a dupe for that. Well. It's not an exact dupe, no, just from what I know about Angel Nova, but it's very similar. And if you like one, I'm pretty sure you will like the other. This is so pretty and beautiful, though. Oh, my God, I can't believe I've gone this long without this perfume. This is a type of Maillard. I don't know how you say this. I don't know, but, baby, this is a hit for me. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Woo. Something makes me feel like this is going to be beast mode. Something makes me feel like this is going to be beast mode. If you like Butterfly from Fragrant Body Oils. Fragrant Body Oils. Why is that in my spirit today? If you like Butterfly from Bath & Body Works. Then I think you will like this. It's not. It's raspberry. And raspberry has a, a tartness. And I think lychee is a little bit tart too. So I mean. there's. It's not as tart as Angel Nova though. Like when I first smelled Angel Nova. I was very nervous at the opening. Because I'm like. This is. Woo. You know how when you eat a little lemon or something and it be like right there tingling? Like that's how Angel Nova is. This is not that that way. Yes, there's tartness because raspberry is has a little tartness to it, but it's not overwhelming and powerful. This is so good. Oh, I'm so 
excited. That is going to be a time. Ooh. Okay. What's this? Oh, it came in this nice gold wrapped, beautifully wrapped like a Christmas present. I'm gonna ruin all that. <laughs> oh wow. They did a really good job wrapping this. When y'all open Christmas presents, do y'all just rip it off because it don't matter? Or do y'all like take your time and unpackage it properly? I tried to do it right and then I got impatient, so I just ripped it off. Um, so this is the affection from the Tafa. This is supposed to be a dupe for Yum Pistachio from Kayali. Um, which they got a quick turnaround because Yum Pistachio just came out this year. So if y'all have already duped this, this is all over my TikTok, all everywhere. So we're going to see what it's hitting on. How you get this out? Is there real wood in here? Oh, shoot. Child, I don't know how this... I think there's real wood in here, number one. I don't think I was supposed to break the box like that, number two. Yeah, I think I broke the box because that just sounds like something I would do. But, um... Yeah, I told y'all, when it comes to the Arabian girls, y'all not seeing them. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Um... You can see it's like raised up from the bottle. I don't know. I don't think I've seen any fragrance notes for this. Hold on. Let me look. So I, I had initially ordered this from Joma Shop. But there was like. It was a long wait. And I got. That's where I got Mayar from. And that had shipped. And uh, this one was still not in stock. So I ended up canceling it. And I ordered from Intense Oud. And that came way sooner. Um, okay. The top notes say Pistachio. Hazelnut, cassis buds, the middle says lily of the valley, jasmine, ra raspberry, lectonic, the base says lectonic, vanilla, and tonka bean. So let's see what it's given. I do really like the bottle though. Woo! Y'all see how powerful that spray was? We like a good spray. Oh man, I think they did it. <laughs> oh wait! Wow! No, no, no. I'm so sorry, Mona. If you see this, I'm so sorry, girl. Baby. I hate to say it. They got it. <laughs> I hate to say it. They did it. I mean, I'm not smelling them side by side, but it's close enough. If it's not spot on, it's 99.99%. I mean, if you were a true frag head, you would probably be able to pick out subtle differences, but I would, if I smelled this, I would clearly say, oh, that smells like Young Pistachio from Kayali. If you did this plus the perfume oil from Fragrant Body Oils, you set. Wow. They weren't playing no games. I'm so sorry, Mona. If you see this, please don't hate me. They got it. They got it. <laughs> like, Wow. Now this, I'm, I call myself like um, getting ahead of the curve. Um, what's her name? Mm, she's on YouTube. She lives in the UK. She has an accent. Of course she has an accent. She lives in the UK. What's her name? Dang it. I love her so much too. Like if I was British, I would be her. Coco Pebs. Oh, I almost had an aneurysm trying to remember that. <laughs> anyway, she had posted on Instagram. And she hadn't even done the full review. But you could tell she was thinking it was a banger. And I had to get it from Canada. That's how you know it's legit. It's not, I don't even think it's in the U.S. yet. Um, but the way she was already like in, I was like, let me just, let me just see if I can be ahead of the game. If I can love something before the hype. Oh, and it's, it's an X straight. So this is Sharaf Blend by Zamaya. Hold on, let me take the paper off first. Sorry. Okay. Sharaf Blend by Zamaya. This is what the box is looking like. Um, and it's ready to come out. Ooh! I just wanted y'all to see that that's 
actually how you're supposed to open it. Um, I wanted y'all to get the full presentation. My box came in a way to open it like that, but I was too excited and I did not pay attention until after the fact. Also, I found a link for this perfume that is from a U.S. based company. I will link that in the description box down below. Oh yeah! Look at that! Look at, I'm nervous, I'm scared. Oh, and the top is really pretty. I'm actually scared. I feel like this might be too grown for me. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a little nervous. This might be, the way it's like, because Angel Share is on my Christmas wish list, or my wish list perfume period, perfume wish list period. Um, so I do like a little boozy fragrance, but something about this makes me feel like it might be too grown for me. Let me see if I can find notes. Okay. So let's, I mean the bottle, did y'all, I know I showed it, but like, come on. It literally looks like somebody poured a drink. Okay, I'm very nervous, very nervous. Ooh, good sprays, good sprays. Okay, so this isn't where I got it from, but this other place says this is a captiv captivating fragrance that incorporates the essence of fine cognac, infusing it with a natural caramel hue. It opens with rich aroma of cognac oil, complemented by oak, absolute, cinnamon essence, and tonka bean. As the fragrance lingers, you'll be enchanted by the warm and inviting notes of sandalwood, praline, and vanilla, creating a truly exquisite olfactory experience. Okay. This smells good, okay? Not too... It's not too boozy. It's not too much. Definitely giving Angel Share vibes. I don't currently own the original Angel Share, so I can't say if it's a dupe or not for that. It is in that vein. Here is my current thought process. I own Calmer by Latafa. Okay, wait. I'm trying to think. Do I need both? This is good, though. This is good, though. And if you like that Angel Share vibe, you would like this. I'm just thinking, since I own Karma, I should get up and go get it, but I'm not getting up. <laughs> if I own, if you own Karma, if you own one, do you need the other? What I might probably have to do is make a separate video and compare the two. Compare Karma to this Zasharoff blend by Zamaya. And also, too, I need to let this sit a little bit because now that I've sprayed it, it'll have time to really settle into its true form. So, it's good. I can, it smells that boozy cinnamon kind of apple vibe. It's there. But I need to figure out if which one I would prefer over the other. Because in my brain right now, just me remembering what commerce smells like, I don't feel like I need both. But I need to smell them side by side. I need to let this sit for a little bit because commerce has been sitting for a little bit. So... Maybe in a month or so, I might do a comparison side by side. It is good, though. It is good. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to go viral and go crazy in a couple of months. Wouldn't be surprised. It is good, though. This Arabian perfume haul is turning out to be a hit. Um, I ordered, this is another package, and I ordered another Choco Musk perfume because, not that I needed another one, but I was like, it was like four or five bucks, so I was like, let me just get another one. But then... I said you know you should probably give this away because I don't need another one so what I decided to do is we're gonna do Choco Musk perfume Choco Musk perfume oil golden sand perfume oil as a giveaway so this will be my officially my second giveaway and y'all already know my giveaways they're not the traditional like so be subscribed, follow me on Instagram. No, 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 no. We do it the Vanilla McHale way, which is we do a trivia giveaway. So, if you're not familiar, I pose a question, something related to my channel, and then you have to go over to the community tab and give the correct answer, and everyone with the correct answer will be entered into the giveaway. Okay? Again, I'm going to pose a question. You're going to go over to the community tab. There will be a post that says, drop the answer here. It'll have the date and the time. It is, the post stays open for 24 hours. It closes, and then I'll pull randomly from everyone who has the correct answer. The first one, the question was too easy. So I got to make it a little more difficult, okay? Question is, when I first started my channel, I had a goal 
that I was trying to reach a certain number of subscribers. There was a phrase that I always said when I introduced myself. Hi, my name is Vinnie McKell and I am on. There was a phrase that I said. It is, it consists of six words. There is a six word phrase that I am looking for that I used to say when I was on, when I was trying to reach a certain number of subscribers. Now, some people are already going to know because they've been here since before I reached that number. And they were pushing with me. So, I, I listen, you might have to do some research. I don't know, but there's a six-word phrase that I said when I introduced myself all the time in my old videos because I was trying to reach a certain number of subscribers. It's six words to, that I'm looking for. I used to say, I am on. Okay? That's the answer I'm looking for. It is a specific phrase. It's got to be in a specific order that I'm looking for. Those with the correct answer will be entered into the giveaway for Choco Must Perfume Oil. Nope. Choco Must Perfume. Choco Must Perfume Oil and Golden Sand Perfume Oil all together. Okay. This is the second giveaway. All right. If you don't want to be entered, don't answer the question. Do not put the answer down below of this video because I'm not going to look here for the answer. I'm going to look where? On the community tab. Um, hopefully all goes well. Best of luck to you. Okay, now that we've done that, I also ordered French coffee. I'm not sure if this is old or new. I don't really know. But I've seen it, so I said, let's go ahead and try her. This is what the bottle looks like. This was, when I was looking up the notes for this on Fragrantica, this was like, very controversial and I've seen um, reviews on both ends of the spectrum. There was also some talk about depending on which bottle you have it in because there's some that are in this bottle and then there's some that are in the same bottle that looks like the Choco Musk bottle like the clear transparent bottle. So this was um, slightly controversial which they always be over there fighting Oh, <laughs> Fragrantica but um it intrigued me enough that I said, let me just see, let me just see what they're talking about. So let's see if I can pull up the notes. It just says, coffee, warm, spicy, vanilla, chocolate, sweet, and powdery. Uh, let's see what Fragrantica says, which they're not always right. Uh, coffee, vanilla, caramel, milk, sugar, cacao, and cinnamon. Okay. Woo, I can smell it from here. Okay. Woo. This smells like burnt coffee a little bit. It smells like burnt coffee and chocolate. Woo. This smells like when you uh, brewing some coffee and or it's get, it gets down too low but it's still on the burner. So the bottom of the glass like starts burning the coffee a little bit. It smells like that plus chocolate. Woo! Woo, that burnt smell is there. I'm sorry. It smells like burnt coffee. Burnt coffee and chocolate. Woo! I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. <laughs> it's strong, too. It's very strong. My hope is that as it sits for a couple of months, it'll kind of come together and that burnt coffee smell will be gone. Woo! That is strong. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you. I'm going to let this sit for a couple of months. If I come back to it and it still smells like burnt coffee, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. Hopefully, it changes after sitting for a couple of months. But that? Jesus. Okay, I also picked up Yara in the, or Ooh. In the orange box. I don't know what this is. Like Toos or something, T-O-U-S. And I know this has been out for a while. I also know they lost their minds and they were charging $50 when this first came out. And I said, y'all can have it. Not when I know y'all is between $20 to $30. Really $20. And you think I'm going to pay you $50 because there's a hype for y'all fragrances right now? I'm not. So I left it right where it was. And it finally, it finally came down. I think I got it for $30. I said, okay, I can give you $30. $50? No. Not for y'all. No. If this had never gotten the hype, this would came this would came out at twenty dollars. Y'all y'all not gonna get me like that, no. So am I late? Yes, but it was only because I'm not I'm not giving y'all fifty dollars for this. They lost their mind. Okay, 
fragrance it does have notes so and I also I'm probably out of season I think this is more so for the summer but that's okay oh did I show the bottle I assume y'all know what it looks like but a beautiful orange bottle okay pretty good spray okay the notes for this are mango coconut and passion fruit at the top the middle is jasmine heliotrope orange blossom the base is vanilla musk and cashmere oh this smells like jimmy chew i want you a little bit or like coach dream sunset it's giving that type of vibe is that what i'm smelling okay somebody smells it's somebody says it smells similar to fame by paco Rabanne, which is one that i said also smells like jimmy chew i want you so it's giving that vibe or probably just a little more um, fruit at the top. Just a little more. And I can see that Fame by... I think I'm cl thinking closer to Fame by Paco Rabanne. With just a Maybe like an Arabian perfume version of Fame. That's what I'm going to say it smells like. Not bad. Um, if you have that, do you, need, do you need both? From what I'm smelling just here, no. Is it possible you can prefer one over the other? Yes. Um, if you think, if you like Fame, do I think this is a safe blind buy? Yes. If you like Jimmy Choo, I want you. Do I think this is a safe blind buy? Yes. Are they exact dupes? No, but they're very similar. So, do you need both in your collection? Again, I'm going to say no. You don't need both. You can find that you prefer one over the other, but it's cute. It's nice. I don't think I'm going to get any wear out of it this year. It probably won't be till next year, but that's okay. I wanted to get it once the hype had died down. Okay, I think I have one more. This is another viral perfume on the TikTok. This is Kiss of Pink. The girls have been going crazy over this. This is what it looks like. Very, 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 very beautiful bottle. This is <clears throat> this one sells out all the time. This bottle is heavy. Oh my gosh. I do love this though. It's giving like old, old school like LA vibes. Like kind of at the beach type of when they was into like the flamingos and all that type of stuff. The notes for this are apple and coconut. The middle is violet, jasmine, and rose. The base is cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and sugar. Hmm. I'm perplexed. It's giving a little fabuloso vibe, but I also smell something sweet. It's it smells like fabuloso to me right now, though, for the most part. I've smelled a lot of stuff today on my body. So I'm trying to. I need to see what I'm really smelling. Okay, it's a little better on the skin. It's it's not as fabuloso smelling on the skin. It's it's I can smell that there's a sweetness to it. Um the thing is, this is another one of those that is just so, 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 so hyped that your expectations are like super, super high. Now, I'm going to give it grace because Arabian perfumes are known, they are notorious for needing to sit to get better. I am willing to give it, I'm not going to give my final rating because I am willing to bet that this will get better with time. I'm willing to bet that it will get sweeter as it sits for a couple of months. As of right now, it's just okay. It's nice. I like it. Now that it's on my skin, I can smell the sweetness. Um, it's giving me more like a a more mature version of maybe like Velvet Sugar from Bath & Body Works. Not a, the same, not as sweet, but kind of a similar vibe to that if I can compare it to anything. It's nice. I like it. I could wear this. Is it worth the hype? It is a nice, sweet perfume. I would recommend this. Just when I'm smelling, even just once it's settled on my skin a little bit, it's it's cute. It's a nice, cute, perfumey, sugary perfume. Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the hype? I guess it really depends on what your profile, what your palette is. If you know you like sugary, if you know you like velvet sugar, um, if you know you like sweeter type of perfumes and you like crave that type of DNA, then I think it would be worth it for you. I do say I. This has a place in my collection. That I will say. Like I be wanting more sugary sweet perfumes. And I feel like I don't have enough of those. 
So there is 1000% a place for this in my collection. Also, I believe I paid less than $40 for this. I paid $34.99 for this. Okay? So it's possible, depending on your preference, this might be worth the hype for you. And like I said, I'm willing to bet that it will get better with time. I don't think this is going to be beast mode because I do it. Once I put my hand up to, to my nose, I can clearly smell it. But it's not, I don't think it's going to be like a beast mode fragrance. I think it's going to sit probably a smaller scent bubble. Um, but I do like it though. I do like it. Like I said, I can a thousand percent. This fits within my collection. This does check off a type of perfume that I have been looking for. So, I can't say if it's worth the hype. I can say I don't regret it. I can for sure say I don't regret it. This smells like it's giving me a more sweeter version of the pink Yara. Um, so, if that's your profile, if that's what you've been looking for, then it might be worth it for you. That's the best, honest answer that I can give. The last thing I wanted to smell, this is a perfume oil. I picked this up at a local Arabian perfume oil shop a while ago. And I just never smelled it. This is Nebra's. And I just want to see if this smells like the perfume nebras. Um, that's what it looks like. And I just want to see if it's hitting on the same thing as the uh, the actual perfume. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, this is not the same nebras from the top. Uh uh. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not the same thing. Mm -mm. Ooh, I don't know what I'm smelling actually. This smell the the kiss of pink smells like a like just a little bit sweeter version of yara of the pink yara and like less powdery. Okay, so this nab nabras this nebras from Al Rahab, which is not to be confused with the nebras from the Tafa, floral notes, citrus, and lemon. Yeah, very very different, very different from the nebras from the Tafa, which is like a dupe of eilish the first one yeah very different Woo! it almost smells like a little like there's mint in here or something it's like rose and mint and grass i don't know how i'm gonna do i don't know anyway that is my entire arabian perfume haul as you see i have been collecting for a couple of weeks now getting orders from different places i even got an order from canada because i'm fancy <laughs> um but and I think I covered all of the things that have been going viral lately on the TikTok and on Instagram and things. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Overall, to me, this haul is a win. It's a win because I got to try a lot of things I wanted to be wanted to try, and it's a win because I like and enjoy most, oh, really everything. The only one that I'm nervous about is French coffee. French coffee is the only one that I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. That Maillard, a hit. Affection, a hit. Um, that Yara Tooth, whatever that is, that's good. And so is the um Zamaya, whatever that one is. That's good too. It's just figuring out if I need both this and Kamra. Um but this is this is all really good. The only one I'm really nervous about is French coffee. Everything else I can no problem. I can do. So head over to the after party, let me know what you think. Have any of these been on your wish list? Have they made it to your radar? Um, where are you at in your Arabian perfume journey? I really, I don't need not another Arabian perfume. But let me tell you something. The Arabian perfume girlies be on it. They are constantly, consistently dropping new things. And you got to be quick. You got to be quick with the, with the Arabian perfumes. If not, you miss it. But I think with this haul, I'm current on everything that I have wanted from the Arabian perfumes. If I'm missing something though, let me know. Because I try to be current with the Arabian perfumes. If there's one that I'm missing or has made, your, made its way to your timeline, let me know. Because I might try to see if I can get my hands on it or see if it's something that's in my palette. But um, I could see myself recommending all of these, except for French coffee, all of these two people potentially depending on what they're looking for all of these sans french coffee couldn't make my recommendations list easily 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 but i'm excited i'm actually excited i got some bangers here i already know i do some of these are going to be absolute bangers 
Okay, yeah. So like I said, head, head over to the after party. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about the giveaway, you can put them in the uh, underneath this video. But however, the answer needs to go on where? Community tab. It'll say drop the answer here. And I'm looking at six words. Six. There was a certain number of subscribers I was trying to reach. And I always say, I would say, I am on... So I don't, I don't know where it is in my videos, to be honest. I didn't even look for it. I just know I used to say it all the time until I reached a certain number of subscribers. Some, I already know some people off the rip don't know. Because they was they was pushing with me. Like, come on, you almost there, you almost there, you almost there. So I know certain people uh, off the top of my head, I already know they're going to know the answer because they, they, they was there. <laughs> so if, that's, if you want to participate in this one, go ahead. There's one more giveaway coming. I said I'm doing three. Because it's for 3K subscribers, so if you don't want to, if you want to wait for maybe the next one be better, I don't, I don't know what the next one gonna be. So head over to the community tab and drop the correct answer over there. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.